Welcome to Mr. Michael's ELA classroom. What are we going to learn today? Let's get ready for school. Hello students and welcome to your final get ready lesson. This lesson will be about paragraphs. So first we're going to look at some concepts. So what do we have here? What do we have here? What do we have here? And finally, what do we have here? Well, what does each group have in common? These are balls. These are birds. These are smartphones. And these are SUVs. If we look at the birds, we have a falcon, a pigeon, a crow, and a seagull. These are all examples of birds. And we could look at these as different topics. So these are all topics because they are all nouns. So what is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences on the same topic. For example, I could write a paragraph about balls, birds, SUVs, or smartphones. So let's look at some sentences. Smartphones are devices used to make calls and run applications. So this is a sentence. Do you remember what type of sentence? What about its structure? We did this in a previous lesson. The topic of this sentence is smartphones. So we need some more sentences to make a paragraph. Here they are. So there are a few common topics with these sentences. Let's group them up and make paragraphs. So these are the smartphone ones, these are the ones about birds, and these are the ones about balls. So I'm just going to look at the ones about smartphones. So first we need to put these sentences in order. So that's the first one, second, third, and fourth. So here's the paragraph. You'll notice that I indented the paragraph. That means I left some spaces in the first sentence. So this paragraph has certain parts of it. This first sentence is called the topic sentence and it tells us the main idea of the paragraph. These sentences are called the supporting sentences. They support the topic and give details about the main idea. And the final one there is the concluding sentence. It restates or sums up the main idea. Basically it tells the reader the paragraph is finished. So we can think of a paragraph like a hamburger, where the top bun is the topic sentence, the fillings are the supporting sentences, and then the bottom bun is the concluding sentence. What we need to understand here is that it's not a hamburger without any of these parts. Just like if you don't have a topic sentence, it is not a paragraph. If you don't have any supporting sentences, it is not a paragraph. And if you don't have a concluding sentence, it is not a paragraph. So conclusion, a group of words form a sentence. A group of sentences form a paragraph. And finally, a group of paragraphs form an essay, which is what we will start doing after this lesson. These are also called a composition. So thanks for listening. Get the quiz done.